Today has been amazing. This is day seven of the fat cleanse, and I can't tell you. Oh, it's been like hanging out with the twins uh, in the house. The twins have moved into Fruity Towers, so the Raw to Four Twins videos will now be coming from here, which is awesome. And then I met up with Tim Sheaf, and uh, uh, there was a, a picnic, raw food potluck in the park, and all the festival lingerers were there. Uh, just epic, epic people. Harry and Louise climbing trees, uh, Cole doing his thing. You know, just the whole gang was there. All the, all the lingering psychers, Paddy, new guy in town, he coming after the festival, he's been around. And we've just been hanging out, just like, it's like the festival never ends, it's been amazing. And then after that, went up to a fitness park, and um, first I sprinted my new bike in traffic, and Harry uh, measured me on the motorbike at 50 kilometers an hour. Mate, that's the fastest this fat body's been powering itself. That's amazing. Then I ended up at a fitness park and we did parkour sessions. Uh, Tim was teaching us the basics of parkour and free running. And some of the people were really good. I mean, it's just been I'm so tired. It's been such an amazing day. And back on the, you know, uh, high carb, uh, raw vegan. So not raw vegan, high carb vegan. So that's been great. But so the fat cleanse has been, you know, Pretty good, but a bit up and down in the last few days. Whenever I tell, whenever I make a video saying, I've got it down, it's all so easy, like that cheeky one I made at the beginning of the week, boom, slap in the face. So that's good to notice. But what I want to talk to you about was, I just put up a load of videos, six videos called Food Addiction and Rant. And I, I made those last week in response to the comments on my channel. And I just wanted to like put the other side put the difficult side, put the side of food addiction that, that sucks, that makes us suffer, that destroys our lives, because it really did. I mean, for years, I was under that spell. For years, I was under that binge eating spell, and it was very damaging. I damaged my body a lot, and I've damaged um, my, my life in general. So, it's hard to hear someone else say, you can just stop binge eating because it makes you feel stupid. But the problem with it is to some degree, you can just stop binge eating. How long for, I don't know. The longest I've managed is like a month or two. Um, I don't really binge eat anymore actually. I tend to addictively eat and there's a slight difference. Binge eating is when I eat till full. Addictive eating is when I eat foods that I don't want to eat but continue to eat anyway, like the eggs I had the other day. That's not a binge. A binge would be 20 eggs, you know. Uh, having uh, you know an omelette is not a binge, but it's addictive eating because I don't want to eat it. I don't want to eat eggs. They're chicken abortions. They're quite disgusting, really. God knows where they come from. God knows what's in them. But when you're, it's an addiction, is there? You kind of ignore that. So my my over overall view on food addiction is it's beatable. I maintain that, and I've not beat it. But I needed to put out those videos to express the challenge. I want people to understand what this challenge is. It's not just like, hey, that guy quit, Bing. he just, you know, just stopped. It's, it's a real challenge, it really is. But I do believe there's ways to do it. So I, the reason, I was gonna upload all those videos over the week, but I don't want to, they're old now. They're already old. That story's done. Please watch them, because there's some good content in there. But I am ranting, and there's nothing wrong with that, But but I think I can provide more value to you than that and to myself. So starting tomorrow, I'm going to, still it's still part of Fat Cleanse, but I'm gonna start doing a thing called Carb the Fuck Up, where I'm going to eat as much carbs as I can, because I do believe that over time this will be a successful uh, remedy to binge, uh, binge eating and addictive eating, right? Because you, you can train the brain to produce enough serotonin in response to healthy food, right, by eating high calorific amounts. That's, that's my theory anyway. Um, but it needs to be supported with tools and techniques and most importantly, the right attitude, the right mindset to get you, to keep you on that path long enough for nature to do its work. So from tomorrow, I'm gonna start Carb the Fuck Up, which is gonna be as eating as much as I can, as much as I can to see what happens and providing all the tools and tips and techniques that I have come across that have helped me stop binge eating. I have pretty much stopped binge eating, 
but I addictively eat and I want to quit that too. So I put them all out in one go so that you're not getting confused by my messages. So watch the rants on food addiction. Done. We get it. We know what it's like to be a food addict. Stick it in the drawer. Now let's look at what it's like to not be a food addict. What it's like to be a successful high carb vegan. Right? So I'm not going to give any more information away, but I will start releasing uh, videos and support uh, information to help us all collectively go through this. Who is struggling with it? And just join in for fun anyway, it, uh, even if you don't have a food addiction. Because we're a family here. I can't believe how much I love you all. Seriously. I don't even know any, any of you really are, really, to be honest with you. But you're amazing. You come and comment. You, give, you, 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 you challenge me. You come up with suggestions. You come up with solutions. You, it's like having like a, a council of elders on YouTube who just like, I can be like, hey, what do you think about this? And you'll be like, yeah, we think this. You know, and then there's the challenges, the hardcore ones. We're like, carve the fuck up, dude. And then there's the ones where I'm like, oh, you're a poor baby. You know, there's a whole range of, of different ways of people interacting with me. And I, I love it. And I really hope you enjoy these videos. It's, uh, it's amazing. And this is going to work. There's no way this is going to be successful. But just to reiterate, I felt so frustrated with people belittling the binge eating affliction in this community. Because it's not that easy. And, and it's, it's like, it's like I just carved the fuck up. It's like, it's like telling someone, you know, I can't really describe it. It's like telling someone with no eyes to say, well, open your eyes. It's not quite that bad, obviously, but it's like, it is frustrating. You get my point. We don't have to compare to other people. You get my point. And I wanted to just share that it has been a struggle, you know. It's been debilitating and scary and lonely. So fucking lonely. Like being, hiding away, not even having the courage to share this. Like... There's probably binge eaters out there now watching these videos going, how on earth does he have the balls to tell people he's a binge eater and show them videos of him binge eating? Because it's such an embarrassing affliction. It's so embarrassing. It's not even sexy like being a smackhead. Well, that's a really horrible thing to say, but you know, heroin chic. You don't have hamburger chic. Like, oh look, you know, fatty models, whatever. But anyway, I'm getting a bit distracted. The point is, is that um, I want, I'm not going to lie, I'm always going to tell the truth, I'm going to share with you what I eat, even when I slip up, and uh, what all those comments were saying is also true, it is just something that's going on within the mind, and you do have the power to override it with the power of your own mind, and you do have the power to carb up, to get enough uh, glucose fuel into the brain, so it feels satisfied naturally. And then work with tools that we have available us, like hypnosis, like EFT, just to support, to get us over that thing while the brain and the serotonin mechanism regrows and re, re, re -heal, heals itself, basically. But I feel good having put out the dark story of food addiction. But I really am not here to do that. I'm here to put out the light story of food addiction, how powerful it is, what a guide it is how grateful I am for it because it's taken me on this wonderful journey and it's even better that I now have something I can really deal with and really support other people to deal with so stay tuned for the next set of videos it's going to be really funny I'm going to carve the fuck up and I'm going to share everything with you I'll speak to you soon